Get your alternative media, Greenleaf Weekly. For 23 years, Greenleaf Weekly has been a consistent voice for the progressive movements. Get your alternative to the Murdoch media, Greenleaf Weekly. Just the name, Green Left, tells the story. As a newspaper, it was launched really to open up dialogue and debate amongst those environmentalists and then those of us on the left who had a very strong eco-socialist orientation. All right, let's get this meeting started. So this week is the 1,000th issue. So we start on a Monday. We have an editorial meeting with all the writers and staff of Green Left Weekly. What about refugees? It's based on Abbott's own Operation Sovereign Borders policy. The immediate context in which we launched the project was of a search for a new recruitment of progressive forces. So what are we going to put on the front cover? That could provide an alternative to what was a bipartisan commitment of the Labor Party and the Liberal Party to neoliberal capitalism. I think it'd be good to have a cover that really speaks to people who are mobilising. When we started the project, the first Gulf War broke out. We were desperate, we wanted to have a newspaper out in the streets and there was none and we had to work as fast as possible to get the first issue of the newspaper out. Something about fight back on the cover. Or no confidence. Is that the main message of the March in March stuff? It is. I bought Green Left in 1991 at a big massive anti-Iraq war demo and I've been reading and writing for it ever since. Immediately, compared to previous newspaper projects I and others had been involved in, the response was much, much bigger. We had a bigger distribution from the start. All right, let's get to work. I edit the Australian section and Stuart edits the international section. We have a bureau in Europe. We have a series of writers who follow particular international areas. Dick, how's Barcelona? We talk to each other through the week to make sure that we're pitching the paper properly and that it's actually appealing not just to people in Sydney but also to people in Perth and Adelaide and Darwin and everywhere around the country. Asylum seekers who failed to get to Australia to get back to Malaysia. Each week you have to figure out what the key issues are and there will obviously be major issues in the world. On top of that, not necessarily every week but over a series of issues you have to make sure different areas of the world and the different issues are covered. Scott Morrison has been having talks with the Director General of the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement agency. So they want Malaysia to help stop the boats. The yeah. production staff come in on Thursday. They design the pages, put in the photos, make it look really nice and pretty. Steph, can you remember when the BLF was deregistered? Oh, it'll be in the book on the shelf. And then they also do the first couple of read-throughs, so they proofread it and then send it back to us where we also proofread it. By Saturday afternoon, we put it all together. Steph is the production manager, so he does the final checks and then emails it to the printer and then it's printed by Sunday night. Let's start the print run. It's quite common now in the mainstream newspaper or even in Parliament for right-wing people to say they must have been reading Green Left Weekly or they had a Green Left Weekly moment. It's synonymous with a radical alternative. Do you trust the mainstream media to tell the truth and to report things in an unbiased and fair way? Of course not. And why? Because they're owned by billionaires. They report things in their interests. We need media that represents our interests and that's why we got Green Left Weekly. In a time when the media is being controlled by a small elite and only speaks for the rich, it's great to have a paper that speaks for the exploited and the oppressed in society. The one thing that stands out is how far ahead we were in taking up this question of climate change. Green Left Weekly puts a special argument that the solution to climate change means we must have fundamental social change. It puts an argument that capitalism fouls things up. It's a system based on never-ending growth. It exploits people and exploits labour but also exploits nature. One of the roles I think that's been important has been its ability as a paper to actually put forward demands, put forward ideas, even visions, if you like, of alternatives. For young people, Green Left Weekly is the best tool to get informed and get engaged in real politics and real struggles. Green Left Weekly is so important for young people. It reports on all the issues that are important to youth and youth struggles. It's been a hugely important newspaper for the marriage rights campaign and for rainbow rights. So Green Left Weekly, a working class publication standing up for the poor and the oppressed, incredibly important. The 
dedicated volunteers who support Green Left Weekly, who go out there and sell it in the streets and the markets and demonstrations. They're doing a really important role for the establishment of a genuine alternative mass media in this country. The importance of taking to the streets is campaigning with the paper. Also, we do get it out via social media, online, and a website, one of the, the most read political websites in the country. For me, Green Left Weekly is really indispensable. It's a source of truthful information that you just don't get anywhere in the mainstream media. Green Left Weekly is not just an important newspaper to read to be informed myself, it's also a very important motivator. The huge amounts of destructiveness and injustice that exist in the world can sometimes grind you down, but every week Green Left reports on the struggles of thousands of people in Australia and around the world who are campaigning for positive social change. Green Left truly is people-powered media, relying on its readers for funds, its network of activist writers for articles and weekly content, and its army of volunteers for distribution online and on the streets. Thanks to everyone who's been involved in the Green Left story so far. And just like the struggle, Green Left will continue.